Hi everybody, I wanted to talk to you today about using a tile menu on an Experience Cloud site. A use case for a tile menu is you have the regular navigation menu at the top here, and we'll go to the home page. And just like I have this in my hero, my experience and my experience go to the same page is a second way to get somebody there. You could create a tile menu and that is a third way to navigate to a page. An example is on my portfolio, my home page, I have my navigation up here. People can navigate around. As they scroll down and learn more about me, I also give them other alternatives to get to those same pages. I don't have them all down here because I don't think it's necessarily for them to get to all of them but some pages I feel like are appropriate, like testimonials or work history. So if they scroll down and that menu is gone, they can still get to these pages. Tile menus look different on every site, depending on how you configure them. I am more of a minimalist and I like clean things. I use an icon and words. I'm gonna show you on this mock site that I have created, how to create a tile menu. We already created a navigation menu in a previous video. If you don't know how to do that, I encourage you to go look for that navigation menu. I've also created it on a playlist, Experience Cloud site, step-by-step. -step. You can see it there. But if I were to strictly want to create a tile menu, I could go here to settings, go to navigation, and let's add a navigation menu. That's the first thing we have to do. Now, I created one earlier called All My Other Pages Navigation, and this was a sample. So we're gonna just use this. Just like any other menu, you're going to create it as if you were creating a regular navigation menu, but there is one change. Right here, when you create this, and this one goes, I named the page, my LinkedIn, it goes to an external URL, and I put the URL there. I've made it publicly available, but there's this one option down here. If you're going to create a tile menu, you can add an image. I'll show you why in just a minute. This is where you would add the image. We're gonna hit cancel. I want to get a tile menu component. We've talked about rich text components, but let's grab a tile menu component. I'm gonna type tile and grab the tile menu component and drag it down. I have to tell it which menu I would like it to use. I'm going to select the navigation menu, all my other page navigation. That's just a sample. What happens is it puts these tiles out. Okay. It's using my site colors that I set up in branding. There is a video on that to tell you how to set that up. I've got all these options over here. It says full, no overlay. I could use that. I encourage you to play with the different options to see the way you like it to look. Partial is if I had uploaded a picture. I want to show you that. Let's just go ahead and do the picture. I'm back to navigation for my settings menu. I'm going to go to edit my other one. I'm going to click on my LinkedIn. At this point, I have the option of adding an image. I've already uploaded some images. I will grab those. I like this one. And I'm going to add one. You can see it show up there. My other portfolio and we'll add an image that I already have uploaded and it's the computer just to get something in there. I always personalize them to what I like. The icons I have on the other page are icons I uploaded. I'm going to hit save. Now those images show up. They look weird, don't they? They don't look right. I can come over here. I can start moving things around and decide how I want to change them. A lot of Experience Cloud is just experimenting with what you can do. Let's say I open up tile formatting and I start moving things around. Let's let's see what happens. It says banner height. So that must be this right here is a banner. Maybe I don't want a banner as thick. So I change it to 20. It's skinnier now. Border radius. Maybe I don't want a border. Maybe I want squares. You can do that. Blank image color. I don't have a blank image, so that's not going to matter. Drop shadow. Do I want it to show? See that? This is how I did mine as I took the banner off and just uploaded an icon and took off the drop shadow that you see here. I can make the tile background a color if I want or white or transparent. If I click here, I can completely 
make it transparent by dragging that bar. Of course, it doesn't matter right now because it's white. I can do colors. I can change the size of the icon. If you have an icon, you can make it bigger or smaller. Right now it's medium. It's calling the image an icon. Let's make it large and see what happens. It makes it bigger. Let's make it small. Makes it very tiny. Let's go back up here and change image layout. Let's go full no overlay. What happens? Ha! Okay, we have more of a picture there. Let's go full width overlay. This is where you can get the picture. If you do that, you can adjust the text color. We did tile formatting here. We can do text formatting. What size text? Let's go with large. See how it gets bigger. I do have to mention, because I love accessibility, this is not accessible. If you were to put words on top of a busy image, people are not going to be able to read it. This one is easier to read because I have more of a solid background. Keep that in mind. I can align right now. The text is in the middle, but what if I do have an image and I want the text to the left? I can do that. Okay. Text to the right. You can manipulate and play around with these. I can change the text color here. Let's make it red. Okay. That is of course not accessible because it's very difficult for the eyes, but you can see all the different things that you can do to change. Just remember that when you make a tile menu that you have the image in. Now, I can duplicate my exact one right here. So this says it's a default navigation in my theme navigation. I go down here and I go to default navigation. Because I don't have images in, I could just have tiles. Let's do some adjusting. Let's change the text back to white. Let's go back here and put it in the center. That looks better. It's large. We could format the tile. Right now we don't have a banner on the top, but I could change that. I have a banner. I personally think that looks a little odd without a picture here. I can change the background of the top banner. Right now it's going with my site colors. So if I go back to this one and we'll say, I want to change the color, let's make it red. I can do that. You see, I have lots of different options. Let's make it round again. You can say I rounded the corners. Maybe I want them more round. I'm going to make that number bigger. You can see how you can change things. Blank image color. Right now it's the gray. Let's go with a blue. The last thing is when you do your tiles, I want to remind you about the contrast checker for accessibility. You take these two colors. If I have a hard time reading them, other people with different abilities might. I want to remind you on my portfolio, if you go to my portfolio, go to build your brand. I have an accessibility checker that will check those colors for you. If you have the colors in, such as I just randomly put them in, I'm going to need this code right here. Let me show you how that works. I'm going to the contrast checker. I'm going to put in the codes here. I'm going to want this RGB code. I'm going to copy that. I need to convert it to a hex code. I've got RGB to hex right here, which is going to help me change it. Sorry, let's put it in the RGB code here. That gives me the hex code. I want to grab that hex code. We're going to get the contrast checker and I want to put my hex code in here. I have the hex code I need for my contrast checker. And I'm going to put it here. This is going to tell me, are these accessible for people of all abilities? I have failed. I can tell when I look at this, why I failed. It's very difficult to read. So if I, who do not have vision issues can see a problem, then probably somebody else. How can I fix it? We can adjust this or I can pick different colors. I've almost passed, but these two colors, they're not good together. Unless I go, there we go. I have to change my red color completely to make it accessible. So I can copy that, go to experience cloud, put a hex code in here. Those two colors are accessible, but now my text should be changed because I cannot see it. We will grab black, be easier. And those are more accessible colors. So that's just a little bit about accessibility to keep that in mind. Again, you can find that on my build your brand portfolio page. You can go the contrast checker for accessibility. 
to make sure the colors that you are picking are accessible. You are going to hit publish. Publish means save. I've already got the site over here. Refresh the page. I believe it was on my home page here. If I click my experience here, it takes me to the, my experience page. If I click it here because I've already mapped it, it goes there. Or if I go down here and click it, these all go to the same page. Let's go back home. I have my LinkedIn. I have my projects. I can still follow the same paths. Tile menus are another way to navigate people to pages on your site that you'd like them to get to. I've seen these as calls to action. Maybe they don't see it in the menu, but you want them to go to your LinkedIn page. You could put a tile menu here. You have to move things around and experiment with how they look. And so that is a tile navigation menu.